Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to build our game. So, we have some uh, functionality in our game, just like minimap, we have speedometer, we have countdown timer, we have lap timers, best timers, we have lap system as well. We have you win and go game over, and we have time limit uh, functionality as well. So, that's it uh, for this game features because uh, I'm skipping some of the features like positioning system and uh, as uh, I'm working on the positioning system uh, as well and uh, I'm I want to create some advanced uh, positioning system so uh, I will sh uh, share that script and that project with you as well and I'm working on some advanced uh, uh, arcade racing game so in next uh, sessions hopefully uh, I will share that course with you as well so uh, here we want to build our game and it's the last video of this course and for building the game we can go to file build settings and here First of all, we have to add all of the scenes which we want to uh, initiate into our game. So I already have added level 1, level 2, level 3 and main menu. So it's all done. Then we will select our platform. Here you can see we have selected PC, Mac, Linux, standalone. So because we are building for Windows, if you have to build for another platform you can select that platform as well and you can see that Android I already have Android support if we select another platform you can see we uh, if for example for iOS you can see that we can't build for iOS because we didn't have iOS module we I have installed WebGL module so we can build for uh, WebGL we can build for Android and PC only if you want to create a game for Xbox PS4 iOS tvOS etc you have to install selected modules so for PC we will select the player settings and then we will direct it to this window here we can add our company name whatever uh, company you have so I have selected game uh, developer just uh, my website name then uh, product name product of uh, name of your game which is reach thirst which is fine and then we can add some default icon so you can create your own icon or you can select uh, some icon from uh, any uh, place and then you can add that icon to your game so I will just add this uh, car icon this this picture so we can use this picture as a icon as well so here now you can see that our icons are added and then we are moved to resolution and presentation so here we have some settings if you want to create full screen window you can select that otherwise you can add windowed maximized windows exclusive full screen as well options you can also uh, check this resizable window option if you want to create multiplayer game and want to check uh, separate windows inside your system this option is also good after that in splash images you can add some splash images as well we can also uh, add some logos here and uh, unity logo is uh, default and uh, it will come in uh, below the main M logo so we can add it uh, as sequential and we can add our own uh, uh, images or uh, graphics wa we want to add for our game so for example if we go to our si sprites manual you can see we have a couple of images here so I will just add this image here okay so it will come in the start and we can increase the logo duration to 4 3 whatever you want uh, we can make logo unity logo to 3 one more image I will add uh, for example this one 
and then we can place unity logo uh, after these two so you can uh, move these images like this okay so after that everything is fine now we can go to other settings and in other settings we have to create uh, this line is very important bundle identifier it will be like www.google.com so it will consist of two dots so here we will add a developer name and then our company name and then our product name the game name okay then we can add the build version uh, and you can add 0 1 2 3 1.1 whatever you want so it's up to you so after that uh, the settings uh, the default settings are fine so uh, we can just uh, close this window and now if we click on build here and if uh, then our game will be built so uh, for building in a proper folder we can create a folder you can create your folder on desktop or anywhere else you want I am building this folder inside the uh, this project folder and here you can just select the folder and it unity will start building our game so that's it for the racing game in unity and we will uh, in some seconds we will just test our build variant as well so you will get some idea that how our game will look like so let's uh, wait for some seconds it will take some time for f building the game and then we will move on okay so our game is built now and we can double click on this icon application file and then we our game will be opened hopefully so now you can see that our splash images that we have placed and then the logo of unity and then our first scene which is menu scene so you can see everything is working fine we click on play uh, we will be redirected to our first level hopefully so yeah so now you can see loading bar and now our first level will be initiated hopefully yeah so that's awesome okay so everything is working fine and you have seen that how we have created a simple racing game with unity with awesome graphics you can see that graphics are very nice and very great okay and speed uh, of the game is also fine um, for more optimization definitely you can use uh, at looter culling and uh, uh, different other methods as well which we will uh, learn in some next uh, courses so that's it for this course goodbye